So unless I've missed something, it hasn't actually been directly confirmed what year Payday 3 takes place in yet, and I've seen some people throw out numbers like 10 years after Payday 2, which would place it around 2028, uh, but believe it or not, I think we actually already have the answer for this. Um, because it's actually on screen right now. Now this is going to be a hell of a theory, but I need you to go along with me for a moment, so let's go all the way back to Payday 2, okay? The way DLC worked in Payday 2 is that the heist was set the same year that the heist was released. So for example, Big Bang, Hotline Miami and Hoxton Breakout were all released in 2014, so they were all set in 2014. The bomb heist, Bomb Forest, Bomb uh, Train, Bomb Train? Bomb Dockyard, why did I say Bomb Train? Uh, those happened in 2015, uh, because they were released in 2015, and that also means that Canonically, Dragon joined the gang in 2015 as well. Dragon, Dragon, I have never known how to pronounce his name. And that's how it works until 2018 uh, with White House and then they obviously stopped updating the game until the Revival Era. The Revival Era DLCs were set at the same time as Hell's Island to White House, so they don't really count, we can just ignore those. Also, I fucking hate the name Revival Era. I don't know why, I don't know who came up with the name Revival Era. I don't know what, where that name came from. I've not been like active in the Panic community that much, like realistically outside of making these videos, so. I don't know where Revival Era came from. Who came up with that? What? I don't like the name. My theory is that we're going back to the Payday 2 system of doing things again, where each heist is set at the exact same time as it was released. And we actually already have evidence of this in the shipping date, September 28th. So as we all know, as we all know, as you should know, uh, Payday 3 released on September 21st. Now, if we assume that each heist takes place one day after the other, uh, that means we can actually create a timeline for each heist. So No Rest would be on the 21st, Road Rage would be on the 22nd, Dirty Ice would be the 23rd, Rock the Cradle 24th, Under the Surface 25th, Golden Shark 26th, and then 99 Boxes 27th. Uh, okay, so maybe we need to change this a little bit. Uh, maybe on the 21st, that's when the gang met Shade and they didn't do No Rest until the 22nd. So now No Rest is on the 22nd, Road Rage is on the 23rd, Dirty Ice is on the 24th, Rock the Cradle 25th, Under the Surface 26th, Golden Shark 27th, and then 99, 28th. Now it works, right? So my theory is that the heists are all set one day after the other, uh, starting from the game's release date. So No Rest starts on the 22nd and then we carry on until uh, Touch of Sky, which is the 29th. Now, that does fall apart a little bit when we get to the heist after that, such as, uh, what do you call it, Syntax Error, because Syntax, the cutscenes seem to imply that it's pretty soon after Touch of Sky, but the actual like time difference between the game releasing and December 12th, which is when Syntax Error was released, is quite a while. I mean, maybe it is chronologically set on December 12th, which is when it was released, but it could also be a bit closer to the game's actual release date, maybe like a week or two after Touch the Sky or something like that. That's my theory anyway. You can come up with your own theories, but I think this shipping date of September 28th, 2023, definitively proves that Payday 3 at the very least starts in 2023. Also, Under the Surface has new exhibits on April 10th. 